What is up guys, it is Razorland Zombies here and today I am going to be showing you how to level up your guns the quickest way possible. There is the fun way and there is the boring way. Now you really want to have the map The Giant, but if you do not have that map, a video will be coming out shortly to explain how to do it on Shadows of Evil. The Giant is a really easier, is a much easier way to do it because you can just basically sit on the catwalk. I haven't even gone for quick revive. I've just got Mule Kick, Jug, Double Tap, and speed cola. I haven't gone for quick revive because I'm not even actually working on my SVG right now But yeah, I haven't gone for quick revive because basically I wanted to have free guns now It's gonna be a lot quicker and a lot more effective if you do have free guns So I actually have the HVK the KN44 and the SVG right now But I'm trying to get the man of war because those are the guns that I want to um, try and get to a higher rank first And basically what you want to do is you want to swap e what gun you're using every um, f every round basically So say for now I'm on round 12 and I'm using the HBK On round 13 I'd want to use um, the KN44 And then on round 14 I'd want to be using the Man of War And then back to round 15 and I'd be back on the HBK This is a very quick and effective way to actually level up your guns This is the quickest way Basically what you want to do is you want to just do this whilst watching a movie or something because it's kind of boring not really a lot's happening you're not training much oh fire sale i really need that but yeah you're not really training a lot not much is really happening so basically you just that's all you want to do really you just want to sit on here and get as many head oh there we go man of perfect you want to sit on here and get as many headshots as you can with every gun that you can that's basically that's basically it really so basically that is going to be the um boringer more but more effective way of doing this but yeah i will see you on the a little more fun kind of way to level up your guns. Alright guys, so this is the kind of harder way to level up your weapons on Black Ops 3 Zombies, but it's also kind of a more fun and more enjoyable one. Now, you can actually use Quick Revive on this because you won't be needing Speed Color, but you can actually choose between Double Tap and Speed Color for your third, for your fourth and final perk. I actually don't have one because I went down quite stupidly, but that's okay. You basically just want to have um, your mule kick on and you just want to run a train in this area. This is where I feel as if it's the best area to run trains in. And eventually you do want to pack a punch your guns once you have enough points to do so. So I feel as if this is definitely the best area to um, running. It's quite, it's it's a lot harder than uh, doing the, sitting on the catwalk. But it's a lot more enjoyable and it's a lot more fun to actually do. This is a lot, this is a much longer way to level up your weapons as well. But say if you're, um, you're trying, it's a better way to level up your shotguns maybe. And if you're using shotguns on the catwalk, it's going to be kind of hard to actually, you know, just um, shoot all the zombies and kill them all. So it's kind of not that easy. Um, so it's kind of, it's a bit different. And maybe leveling up your shotguns this way is the best way possible. Alright guys, so that's what you kind of want to do for the earlier rounds. But once you get to rounds 20 and higher, you really want to start pack-a-punching your weapons. And then, once you're on round 25-ish, you want to get those double pack-a-punch effects. And you really want to go for Blast Furnace. And I will show you why you want to be going for Blast Furnace now. Alright guys, I'm now on round 23, and I have Blast Furnace of my Weevil upgraded and my KRM upgraded. I actually did go down with Mule Kick, and that's why I didn't rebuy it, because I realised how valuable that third gun actually is, and how many points it actually takes to get that gun back, so I decided not to rebuy that gun, and I've just gone with the Weevil and the KRM. I mean, obviously that's, that's not going to slow down the progress of ranking up guns, it just means... It's going to actually, in fact, speed it up. It just means that I'm only going to be getting two guns done in a game. Got some pretty decent weapons here. Let's, uh, and I'm going to show you the effect of Blast Furnace. So I didn't actually connect with all of the zombies there with Blast Furnace, but I will do it again very soon. Just It does take out the hordes very quickly, and it does give you a reasonable amount of XP to kill the zombies. It's a lot. This, this, this strategy is a lot more fun than just sitting on the catwalk. Sitting on the catwalk, you may as well just do it like watching a movie or watching a YouTube video or something like that. Just to have a nice little chill out when you're just chilling. This is when you really want to kind of just play some zombies and you want to get more into it. And I will show you the real effect of Blast Furnace now. So Blast Furnace literally takes out the entire horde. You just have to kind of get your bullet in the middle. And, I, and I've only used six bullets on my Weevil and I've taken out about one and a half hordes at the moment. It's incredible. The dogs are the only little annoying thing. It's definitely easier to level up your guns on the giant over Shadows of Evil. However, I will show you how to do it on Shadows of Evil as well. I'm going to separate those videos so it's easier for people that don't have the giant to uh, click on the one that has Shadows of Evil. And it's easier for people who do have the giant to watch the one with the giant on. I think that's just going to be a better idea. And I think that's going to be a lot more he more helpful for you guys. Right, so the video with uh, Shadow of Evil, how to level up your guns on that, will be coming out soon, as most people do not have the season pass, and I understand that. 
So that will be coming out soon. If you guys like this video, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.